Let's bring Eddie in finally. Um, for the winner, obviously, huge opportunities ahead. 2019, how do you think it's going to unfold? We talk about the carrots and the dangers. <laughs> to be honest with you, <laughs> this, is, this is a fight within itself. And there are people coming on Saturday night who are coming as fans. Anthony Joshua is one of them. People want to see this fight. People yeah. don't know what's going to happen in this fight. People think these two are crazy. And they are crazy. Because if you watch that first fight, why on earth would you want to do this again? So if it's another classic, there could be a trilogy. Uh, who knows? I mean, that might not be good for people. But all I know <laughs> is, is this fight is a crazy fight to take for both guys because of what happened in the first fight. For Dillian, like Derek says to him and goes in, why don't you take this? You're there. You're number one with the WBC. You're top five of everybody. Why risk it against me? I know why. Why? Because you're not fighting his corner to, to, to fight for the WBC. That's why you're selling him. To, you're selling him short. Really? Yeah. What? Oof. What against you? <laughs> Man, the, the, guy, the guy was a WBC champion for uh, like silver for about a year and a half, and you haven't fought his corner rightly. So. It says a lot, man. Maybe, come maybe on. he thinks no, this no, is the no, right no, fight. Maybe he no, thinks no, this is an easy on, touch for money. Come on, come on, man. You know, fight for your boy, man. Come on, boy. Right now, you're not fighting his corner. Let's be honest. I'm fighting his corner. I just, really I just, I just think this is not fighting his corner. You're not fighting his corner. Just shoot for a table at him what? like he did last time. I wasn't bothered by that table. I was quite cool under the circumstances. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but what I was saying is, this is a risky fight for Dillian White because he is there. He is in that position. And it's a risky fight for both, and I take my hat off to both. No, it's not a risky fight for me. No? I didn't have anywhere to go, did I? No, it's not. It's physically, not a risky fight. physically a risky no. fight. Fuck that shit, man. <laughs> physically what? It don't matter, man. I'm going to come out here nice, do you understand? It's, uh, we're going to go and take what's his and make it mine. You know, but that is it. It's not a risky fight for me. I am ready. That's well, it. One thing I was saying earlier to, to the media was is that, in certain environments, you become a very, very difficult man to be. And I think when you went to Monaco, in that little room, it wasn't like when you go into Manchester and you go to the O2, that's what you're about. And Monaco just weren't for you. Oh man, listen, I, 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 like, to, I like to have fights, man. And when you know, the crowd in Monaco is like, you're busy sweating there, and then suddenly you got somebody drinking a margarita there, looking, <laughs> looking at you like, it's a gladiator, it's like it's a slave days, like look at this black guy fighting a white guy. You know, it's like gone back to the slave days. And it's like it's, it was like that in Monica. So it's like you're like oh. you, you you look you look outside the ring, everybody's like on the blackberries on the phones, and you're like, for fuck's sake, can you just watch one round? Oh, sorry, sorry, I don't sorry, I my apologies. We're I apologize. Yeah, but you know, Mon Monaco is a great city, but I don't think it's a great place for all, for boxing because you don't have true diehard fans in Monaco. You know, it's it's it's, it's a, a different atmosphere. It's a different. Yeah, it's totally hard. You know, it's like it's just. What do you crazy. think the crowd's gonna be like on Saturday? Interesting. Two numbers. Oh, Derek is aura. Oh, Derek is aura. That's that's what that's what that's that's, that's gonna be the anthem for the fight. You know, uh, it's a, it, mate, it's gonna be great on Saturday. Night. I'm just buzzing. You don't understand. You know, uh, it's like you know when the when the guy comes and goes, oh, you got ten minutes, and then suddenly you're like, oh, Jesus, ten minutes. I was saying this to to David over there. I was like, oh, ten minutes. And then they start singing, like, what's, the, what's the last song they sing? What's the name of the song? So, yeah, and it's like, da da da, da da da, da da da, da da da. And then you know, uh, after this song, boy, and then you get Michael Barber goes, ladies and gentlemen, da 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 da. And you're like, God oh, damn, what am I doing here? I wish I could, I wish I could go home right now. <laughs> you know, you're like, ah, oh, okay, okay, it's, it's on, it's on. And then suddenly, when you come on your dressing room, that's it. It's fight time. But you know what? You can't buy the adrenaline anywhere in the shops or anywhere of what we go through as, as boxers. I'm sorry. You know, lacing up the glass, going through that. It's just, it's just a buzz. It's amazing. I love it.